Hey, welcome back to the channel, and today I've got another really nice video for you. We're going to be looking at the uh, Rosecraft new uh, Obed Creek Bow Trapper, and um, really cool. And there are some changes to this uh, knife over uh, other um, Rosecraft knives. And so I hope you join me for this uh, really cool uh, look at a fantastic knife. Spoiler alert, it's fantastic. So uh, I hope you join me in checking this knife out. What was that about Grandma again? Crazy Grandma. Crazy Grandma? Yeah, Why'd they call her Crazy Grandma? I don't know, really, but just from my recollections... Um, I don't know. She did weird things. Like one time she tried to hijack an airplane. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's crazy. <laughs> so I, I don't... don't... I barely remember now exactly what happened, but I know that they pulled everybody off the plane and called the police, and um, I'm sure they detained her for quite some time. All right, guys, welcome back to the Fortified Castle. Hi to all my viewers. Bonjour, privet, guten tag, hola, ciao, konnichiwa, and good day, mate, to my foreign viewers. And uh, as you can see, we're going to be talking about that Obed Creek um, bow trapper. Over here is the brand new Gunstock uh, uh, Savage Creek knife. I reviewed that and put a video out on that i hope you check that out and uh without further ado let's look at this knife um there's some changes in this knife not this knife but in in the knife process um and we'll talk about those as we go along but you have a um the i believe the website said this was um four and a half inches i i get it at four and three sixteenths it's not quite four and a quarter inches uh, from the widest points on it and uh, you have a nice green micarta scale there nickel silver pens stainless steel um, shield I don't know that's what the website says stainless steel looks like nickel silver to me but <clears throat> They've taken uh, the skull off of Andy's uh, signature um, logo and incorporated it into the knife. Perfectly done. Perfectly set in there. Look at that. Just awesome. Um, beautiful, deep mirror polish. Look at the mirror polish on this. And um, look at that. Just fantastic. And I think that's one of the differences. If you look at older um, knives, it's highly polished, but you can see the difference in these, these bolsters right here. So um, the polish is definitely a lot deeper all the way around, even on the back. The back looks more like a brush finish, but again, it's a, it's a really good, let me see if we can get in here. Get this out of the way. I'll snap in. There we go. You see that? Really good mirror polish on there. And so um, it's not super deep, but it's a it's a good mirror polish on there. I think that is uh, different. You've got a um, drop point style blade with a clip. I didn't measure this, so let me see if this is UK legal for you guys. Boop, 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 boop. Ah. Let's measure it real quick. This is a three and an eighth. So I don't know whether you want to um, test that in the UK or not. Now, it's two and three quarters inch for the cutting edge on this. So... Um, Technically UK legal, but the blade overall is longer and that may get you into trouble. I don't know whether you really want to risk that or not. That's the uh, talk on that. We'll do it again. 
half stop, close, decent pull on this, about a six, a little harder to overcome the half stop, about a seven, and nice mirror polish on the uh, uh, tang there, and inside, Let's see if I can get that real good, look at that. Really nice looking inside there. And um, on the top here on the uh, liners, which are stainless steel, really nice uh, high mirror polish on that. Um, when you first look at this knife, you're tempted to uh, think it's a reiteration of the uh, Riverbend Skinner, which is also a bow trapper. But the liver, uh, Riverbend Skinner is actually a little bigger, and it has a trailing edge blade. And so on the uh, Riverbend Skinner, matter of fact, I'll show you a picture right there. But you can see it has a trailing edge um, that flows up in kind of like a, a Persian-style blade. And this is just a straight um, drop point blade on this one. The other thing I want you to notice Look at that little, that Riverbend Skinner, there's five pins. And so Andy's really cleaned this up, and you only have three pins here. I think that looks a lot nicer than the um, uh, Riverbend Skinner. See that? See how there's five on the Skinner over here, and um, only three here. So really nice overall job. There's your uh, centering, perfect centering. There's the head of your knife right there. Really nice round, so we'll walk around that. Nicely, really nicely done. Look how flat the termination point is right there of your, um, your uh, back spring. Just square, dead square, straight across. Your top square, nice and shiny. Very nice. A little bit of junk in there. I think that's junk. Yeah, hit that real quick. That's another thing I can tell you about these knives. I did clean them up, but very little debris. So these knives were cleaned, you know, prior to being uh, sent out, and um, not your typical filthy, dirty knives. Yeah, that may be maybe some gouging in there. I don't know. Really nice, though. Really nice knife. Cool. Look how uh, you have the skulls polished, but the eyes and the nose are, are frosted. You can actually feel that. If you go real slow, you can feel that it's a little rough on the eyes and the nose. Nice uh, thread on here. Deep. Very well done. Really nice knife, guys. Uh, this knife was $64.49. That's a little bit more than they've been charging for knives. Uh, well worth it. Uh, well worth it. That is an awesome knife for $64. Bucks. I would do that all day long. Let me see if I can... Nice swedge. Look how the swedge flares back rather than just cut off. A lot of them just cut off and go up, which there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a different design feature. Kind of flows out this way. Very nicely done. There's your edge. Perfect. Let's see if I can get the edge on this side. Okay, there you go. Looks a little smaller than the other side, but uh, consistent all the way. Not a big difference. And of course, you got Andy's uh, logo there with D2. This is the uh, 015 Obed Creek. Beautiful knife. Um, Thanks for checking out the video, guys. I really appreciate your support.